beautiful soul. How are you on this fine and fabulous day? And do I have a treat for you today? Indeed I do. Check out this absolutely gorgeous dreamscape crochet color work pullover pattern. my word. This stunning wonder was designed for you by Christina Smiley. And I have to say, this is one of the prettiest crochet sweaters I do believe I have ever seen. I can't get over it. First, let's talk about some of the details of this pattern. And then I'm going to share a couple tips with you to help ensure your success if you make this one. This pattern uses three colors and it features this incredible flower motif that dances across the yoke. So pretty. Now to tie the whole look together, We've added some pretty little detailing on the sleeves and at the bottom hem, super lovely. I just love the overall look of this pattern. You don't see crochet sweater patterns like this very often. So this is truly something that you're going to be so proud to make and wear. Now I would say this pattern is moderately challenging. So as long as you have a few projects under your belt and you know basic crochet stitches, you should be good. If you would like the full written version of this pattern, it includes the charts and schematics and everything for you. That's available at expressionfiberarts.com. And I'll also pop the direct link in the description box for you. For this pattern, I opted for our cash silk sock yarn. It's a fingering weight yarn and it drapes really nicely while holding up really well to lots of love and use. So it's going to make a fluid, flexible, soft, beautiful sweater. This actually has our softest superwash merino wool of all of our yarns. Plus it's got cashmere and silk, so it's just ideal for the sweater. So I'm gonna share two really cool tips with you today, which I think you're gonna love and it's gonna help to ensure that your sweater is absolutely gorgeous. We're working tapestry crochet on this sweater. So what does that mean? Essentially, all of our loose floats that would normally be in the back, we are hiding them as we go. So you'll see the inside of the sweater is nice and smooth and just as beautiful as the outside. No floats. Let me show you how that looks. All right, so when you're working any given round that has two colors in it, what you wanna make sure and do is work over the unused yarn so you don't end up with a float in the back. Let me show you how that looks. All right, go ahead and insert your hook into your next stitch like you normally would, holding that unused yarn right there along with it. Then I'll go ahead and finish this single crochet. And then let me show you again. Insert your hook into your next stitch, making sure that the unused yarn is right there with it. And then go ahead and simply complete your stitch. And what you'll notice is that on the back side there are no floats. That loose strand is completely hidden so the back side looks just as clean and pretty as the front. The second technique is gonna to help to ensure that your color sections are nice and defined when making this sweater. Should you not do this technique, all of this beautiful color patterning you see here will be just skewed a little bit. Okay, this trick is so clever. You're gonna love it. Let's say you're working two colors in a given round and the chart says that you need to crochet the next stitch in this cream, but then switch to the purple. So watch this. Let's go ahead and finish this next stitch here in the cream. But wait, before you finish that final stitch of the cream section, you're gonna actually switch to the purple and finish that final cream stitch with the purple. And look, that is what's gonna create that gorgeous crisp color segment there because that cream has been completed in cream and now the next purple stitch is going to be completely purple. Super awesome. And remembering as you go along, hiding those floats. Let me show you that again. Let me show you that switch over again. Let's say we're working one more purple color and then we're about to switch to the cream. So drop your purple and pick up your cream to finish out that purple section. Boom. I'll work a couple more stitches and then I will show you 
how nice and crisp and beautiful that is. This is really important to make sure all your lovely patterning looks just the way you intended. And you're gonna get in the groove and not even think about it. So look at that, the purples are all completely purple, the cream ones are all completely cream. If you were to not do that, they would be shifting into each other. This will ensure that all of your color patterning is nice and crisp and defined. I hope these tips were helpful for you. I really have to give a shout out to Maureen who suggested we include these tips in this video for you. I really hope you give this one a whirl. I can't wait to see your version. Remember to soak up this gorgeous day. After all, today is the only day that we ever have, so we might as well make the most of it. All right, you beautiful wonder. I will talk to you next time. Happy crocheting. Can we go put black tape on their window? Oh my word. Oh my word, oh my word, oh my word, oh my word. Perfect. <laughs> okay. All right, so, uh, slip is showing. How indecent. Because it's see-through, you have to be modest. Okay. All right, you gorgeous wonder. I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.